How you doing guys? This is Orlando once again. I'm doing a quick little video. Today I'm going to do it on spray painting. I'm going to spray paint a bench today. It could be anything, but I got this bench that we don't like the color anymore. We're just going to use it a little longer, so we're going to change it so it can match with our other stuff on our terrace. Um, I'm using this paint here from Home Depot, regular spray can that sticks to metal, plastic, wood. So basically I'm gonna, I already shaked it up earlier because I wasn't gonna bore you guys with the shaking. Now when you spray paint, the most important thing about spray painting is keep it going. What I do is I don't hold it down, I tap it. And if you notice, I don't know if you could hear it in the, in the video, but this is gonna be my first coat. Then I go back with the second coat and touch it up. But if you notice, I'm pressing. Go up here, because obviously I don't wanna wet paint the, the board all the, down there, but. Okay, inside, up. Anytime you're in the bottom, I always go up from the bottom to the top. Okay. Let me go to the other side. And same thing, tap. Don't hold it down and keep it moving. You gotta keep it moving. You can't stick to one area. Because if you stick to one area, that's when you can have a smudge. You gotta move it. You gotta move it. Here, I can hold it up here. So the other side is not painted yet. It takes a few minutes to dry up, like to get kind of sticky. But like an hour or so, you could pretty much touch it. Now I'm gonna go on this side. Same thing, tap it. You notice, I don't know if the camera's a little close, I'm not sure, but I'm not holding it down, remember. This is kind of simple. Every, a lot of people know how to spray paint, but some don't. They think spray painting is a big deal. I'm just showing you guys, so if you want to do a little spray paint at home, paint something it's not it's not very difficult it's actually kind of fun you can spray whatever keep it a little longer sometimes it's just a little spray paint work you're able to keep something for another year or two sometimes even longer or if you really like it you can spray paint it again you know after a year if the paint doesn't use them because these spray paints they're not known to be the best paint but they do the job, they last for a while, and they're not very expensive. You could always spray paint again. On this side here, just remember this is the first coat, guys. Here, you should always tilt if you're gonna paint something because the can doesn't really work good if you have it head down or tilted. So if you're able to, you hold it like this, and then you can spray paint. When I'm in the outside, I like to start coming in. And then you could always go back and forth, but always tapping. But you see how the can is in the right position. Light coat, you don't want to overdo it, there's no need. This is going to dry quickly. And like that, it kind of guarantees that you won't have smudges. I don't want to spray paint my hands. Go here, a little light. See that little thing? And I'm moving, and sometimes that happens, but that wasn't big. It'll dry up, and then I could always go over. But that's why you have to make sure, because you don't want a big smudge. And another thing, when the can, as you use it, 
you got to keep shaking it. It works a lot better. And remember, towards the end of the spray paint, you might have the, it might start spreading a little thicker because it's trying to empty out the can. I'm going to leave that corner there for now until it dries up a little bit and then I'll turn it around. Let me get these corners here. Same thing, go up. Lift it up. You see those corners? And remember, this is depends what you're painting. You could be painting a bucket. You could be painting a, a table, a chair. I'm gonna go back and touch it up. First coat. So, you know, you could be painting whatever. It doesn't really... I'm gonna lift it up here, cast the corner. I like to spray paint in the shade. I have spray painted in the sun before, if I have to. But the paint kind of dries up quite quickly. Look at this little spot here. Up, up, tap, tap, tap. Cut, cut, tap, 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 tap. And then I'm gonna go back and touch it up. Here, bottom. Always touching up. Just touching it. And like that, your spray paint won't wore out for nothing. But you can paint outside like I was telling you, in the sun, in the shade, but one of the places I don't recommend if it's windy. If it's windy, stay away because you're gonna spend a lot of paint, wasted paint with little results. Okay? I'm gonna let this stick for a little bit. I'm gonna let this stick for a little bit and then um, do the final coat, which is gonna be quick, also a couple minutes, okay? Thank you, guys. Sure. All right, I'm gonna do the second coat, guys. I'm actually gonna curl myself up a little bit. So you don't smell it, you don't have to, but with, this was the corner that I left. Remember, I told you that I go from the outside in, and then, then you can go back and forth. I'll leave that for the end, and I'll come back. Second coat. The second coat, you see, I'm already touching it. It's not completely dry. It's only been a few minutes, but it's dry enough already that you can touch it. Go inside. And if you notice, that first coat is incredible how it catches. Because there's only a little, there's only a few spots. Here. Okay. Same thing I'm gonna do again. I'm gonna tilt it over. Catch it here and I'm gonna touch it from the bottom. So I'm not touching the paint. Inside, go in, in, in. And sometimes you might, two coats is usually enough. But once you finish the product and it dries up, if you see a little spot anywhere, it's okay. You can just go and touch it. Remember, buy paint. This bench is only one can. I'm gonna have leftovers, I think. But if you're not sure, buy two cans, whatever. Always buy a little extra. You could always return it. If you don't use it, it's no big deal. You take it back and you can return it. These cans are like three, four, five bucks. Like I said, they're very economical. So there you go. I think I put, I have to get this corner here. And that's about it. So I hope you guys liked it. Quick little video. I know this is not anything huge, guys. Just spray paint. But some people, you know, they maybe have never spray painted. They don't know the little tricks. Remember, move the can. Move it, keep it moving, tap. Don't press it down, don't go press it down and just squeeze it and stay there. And that paint, you gotta move it, tap, 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 and keep it moving and that's gonna help you get that spray nicely even, okay? So I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go spray paint something. Don't spray paint a wall now, out there in the community.
because then that's going to be a problem right there. Spray paint something at home, private property, don't go out there, you know? All right, guys, thank you. Remember, if I could do it, you could do it. All right, guys.